Well, we get the chance to catch up with the Royals' newest signee, first-round draft pick. And I'm guessing, I don't know, because we've seen a lot of players over the years get drafted, and it's always such a special moment, Frank. But the the smile, the look in your face on all those Zoom calls, you, you look like you were on cloud nine. Have you come off of that yet? Um, you know, I don't know yet. I think I'm still a little bit on it, but, you know, I got to start working my way down. Uh, you know, it's time to get, get to business and, you know, really get after it. So I'm really looking forward to it. But life moves quickly. I mean, you know, one day you're, you're pitching in high school and then you're graduating from high school and you're, you're probably thinking about the, the draft or college and all of that. And now suddenly you're going to work in a couple of days. How, how quickly did that reality set in that you're about to go play some professional baseball? Um, it was really quick, you know, it kind of all happened at once, so it really didn't have time to sink in, and, you know, it's been starting to over the last couple of days, but it's just been awesome, so. I know you said in the initial Zoom call that, that, you know, you were shocked to go where you did, but you knew you were going somewhere. I mean, it's not like this was, well, maybe I'll get drafted or or maybe not, so what was your expectation going in? Um, you know, I didn't really try to have any expectation, just kind of go with the flow. Um, you know, everybody says it's the draft, so anything can happen. And I'm just so excited, you know, got taken by Kansas City and, you know, what they what they preach here is just amazing. So I'm just really excited to get after it. That's been the case for, for Dayton Moore and his staff for many, many, many years since you were probably three or four years old is when they started here. But how was that relationship with them? I mean, I think the one thing people don't always know about the draft is that this doesn't happen overnight. There are long-term relationships that are built. How was that with you and the Royals? Uh, it's been amazing. You know, area scout Casey Fahey, always in contact, making sure everything's good. And if I need anything, always being able to reach out. And, you know, with Dayton and Lonnie, uh, relationships getting, you know, growing every day. And, um, you know, it's kind of like what they, like I said earlier, what they preach and kind of what my mom says. So it's too Tune in two more dads, you know, keep me in check and stuff. So Listen to mom first. That always comes first. We know that one. But uh, let's talk about your senior season. And I think the one thing that we keep hearing about over and over again is four straight no hitters. I don't think any of us have ever heard of anything like that at all. What was what were those moments like for you? Um, I try to not make them, you know, too much about like myself because, you know, my job is to go out there and give us the team the best chance to win. So I almost just felt like just going out there and just kind of like another game. You know, our goal of the week was win the week. So that's just one step closer. And that's just kind of how my mindset was. You're going to win the weeks when you're throwing some no hitters. But tell me about your game. I mean, you know your game as well as anyone. We could certainly hear from Lonnie Goldberg and, and his staff and the scouting reports. How do you scout yourself? Um, competitor, uh, winner. And I'm going to, com- you know, like I said, I'm going to compete out there no matter the situation is. If I'm starting, closing, relieving. I'm going to go out there and, you know, you know, give it 100% no matter what. I thought it was cool, too, that the the tweets and the people that were talking about you, I saw Bobby Witt Jr. reaching out. And I, I don't know how much that resonated with you because he's a lot closer in age to you and a lot closer now to the big leagues. Uh, how relatable was that? How cool was that to hear from one of the top top minor league prospects in all of baseball? It was amazing, you know, just so, so cool. And it just wasn't, you know, Bobby, it was a bunch of other guys that reached out just saying welcome to the family. And, like, it was just kind of like another family bringing you in, and it's just really awesome. So, all right, Who was your guy growing up? Who, who did you root for? Uh, Yankees fans. All right, we'll forgive you for that one. But it's understandable the area that, that you were in now. Of course it is. This is your employer now. It, none of that stuff matters anymore. Was there a pitcher or is there a pitcher that you model your game after? Um, I don't try to model myself after anyone because, you know, what might work for them doesn't work for me and what might work for me doesn't work for them. Um, so I don't really try to model myself after anybody. All right, when this all happened and you get picked and then you get past that and, and now you're signing the big bonus and, and that's crazy in itself, but I'm, I'm sure uh, hearing about your character that you'll stay humble with all of that. But how crazy is this? I mean, you're, you're, I guess, walking down the aisle graduating from high school recently. Yeah, it's been crazy. It's just awesome. You know, everybody's supporting me, you know, my circle. And even, you know, friends in high school, they're all supporting me and they're there for me. So it's been really easy for me, which is awesome. I always love that you, you sign the deal. You come see Kauffman Stadium. It's got to be an unbelievable experience. And then, oh, by the way, you got to get to work pretty quickly to here. How quickly does that happen? Uh, a couple of days, you know, but, you know. For me, it's not necessarily work because I get up and I love to do it. So it's something I love. So I don't really consider it work. It's just something I'd go out and do because I enjoy it and love it so much. Well, we are sitting here in July of 2021, and uh, we can't wait one day to, to see you here at Kauffman Stadium pitching for the Royals. Good luck with the journey uh, with every bit of the way. Enjoy it, and congratulations on now being officially a Kansas City Royal. Thank you so much. Thank you.